most of us see the world like this. But here's the thing, 200 million people see the world like this. Today I'm going to react to Mr. Beast's video showing a thousand blind people see for the first time, which sounds pretty amazing and magical. It's like, what is this guy doing now? Uh, I watched it for just a second and it sounds like a lot of it has to do with cataract surgery. And so not only let's watch it, react to it, see what's going on, but then uh, toward the end of the video, I'll try to share some tips on what you can do to help prevent getting cataracts in the first place. Oh my okay. God. I okay. see everybody. Oh, I can see clear. <laughs> I can jump for joy. <laughs> One thing that is pretty amazing to see here is the removal Moving uh, basically the tape or the shield, the fox shield from the people who had the surgery. Keep in mind, this is not immediately after the surgery. This is likely uh, a, the next day after that they're removing this shield and they're kind of seeing things for the first time. If you're wondering how the surgery allows people to see again, it's because the lens in their eye got so cloudy that they can't see Ooh. through it. So the surgeon uses a tiny vacuum to suck up the clouded lens. Whoa, it's sucking. And replace it with an artificial one. Okay, that, that whole animation and that simple explanation makes me very happy. I, I don't know who uh, is doing the animations for Mr. Beast, but I wish I had them helping me out with my channel. But that's exactly what cataracts kind of look like. A cataract is the lens inside of the eye that you were born with, and this lens, uh, over the course of your lifetime, can start to become cloudy and opaque for many different reasons. There's, in fact, different types of cataracts. Most commonly, as you'll see in this video, uh, a lot of people are of older age, and that's because cataracts can form just due to age, and we call those age-related cataracts. But yes, during cataract surgery, the surgeon will use a small tool to basically chip away and vaporize uh, this crystallized lens inside the eye, and then they use a little suction tool to basically suction out all the little lens material, and then a new plastic lens is put in its place. Interesting cool thing to note in this animation, the lens has these small concentric rings on it. Do you see those? Uh, that implies that what they were putting in the eye was not just a single clear lens, it was in fact a multifocal specialty lens. These are more premium IOLs or intraocular lenses to help people not just see far away clearly, but also help them see up close and intermediate distance as well. So they don't have to rely so much on like reading glasses or other things afterward. You pay for my surgery? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? It does make me so happy to see that. We get that a lot in um, from patients in the clinic. The, the first day or people who have significant cataracts so their vision really is reduced and they're pretty much legally blind. Once they have that surgery, it really is oftentimes amazing for people to see those type of reactions. Oh man, no cloudiness, no blurriness. Oh, it's perfect. Now, what's it like? I can see everything. So there's a younger guy who uh, apparently went through the cataract surgery. So you kind of wonder like, why did he have a cataract? Was it from trauma? Uh, was he born with it? Because again, there's different types of cataracts and they can be formed by different things. But clearly him being younger, something's a little different for him compared to everybody else. I don't need these. <laughs> So with the cataract surgery, the lens that gets implanted in the eye, uh, they can calculate the power based on what you will need, based on your eyeball's size and depth. And so uh, a lot of people after their surgery, the old glasses that they had been using before don't work anymore. And so they need new glasses to help with things like reading, or, or maybe they still have some residual refractive air left over. And so then you have to get your glasses prescription tailored to the new power of your eye. Charlie sees everything like this, and it's made him and his family's life Life extremely difficult. I was a cashier up. My eyes was getting so bad that I couldn't see how much the money to give back. Now, I wonder, uh, I don't know where Mr. Beast is like sponsoring or how he's involved with the payment for these procedures. In the United States here where I practice, if somebody has significant vision loss from cataracts and if they have medical insurance, even state insurance, covers cataract surgery. So I don't know um, if Mr. Beast is paying for these procedures to be done or if this is in a, like a third world uh, kind of country where maybe they don't have those sort of uh, insurance or supportive services. But for standard uh, lens implants, usually if someone has reduced vision because of cataracts uh, or their quality of life is diminished because of the cataract, then yeah, insurance often does cover just the standard lens, which for most people, those standard lenses work fantastic. Uh, but if they're getting, again, the multifocal 
lenses or a premium lens, uh, those are usually out of pocket and that can cost multiple thousands of dollars to get. So perhaps that's what's going on here. Because Jeremiah was born with cataracts, his right eye never received light. And that means that this surgery only has a 50% chance of working. I think we go ahead and so uh, what they're likely referring to is something called amblyopia. Uh, so you can have a cataract that you're born with, and then so light doesn't penetrate and hit the retina, and that means that your eyeball isn't sending, sending good signals to the visual processing centers of the brain. And if they're not getting that information, then your, uh, your body and brain is gonna kind of prioritize the other working eye. And so, uh, walking around, his left eye's likely developed really good vision, but his right eye, it's not so much the eyeball that has the problem, it's more of like the neural processing centers of his brain. Hopefully, he will be able to see something, perceive light, but uh, I'm just guessing, I haven't seen this yet, but I'm guessing um, he'll still see really good out of his gut working one eye, but the other eye, won't see as clearly as the other. I met another young man named Satchel. Uh, did they tell you I was gonna be here? No. This is so good. Good that he had poor vision people. from birth and almost lost his entire vision after a go-karting mm -hmm. accident. All I see is like blur in color. I can barely see like the shapes. I'm so again, trauma can be a cause of reduced vision due to cataracts, due to retinal damage, due to scarring of the cornea in the front part of the eye. So I'll see you at the end of the video when we surprise him with a brand new Tesla. But first, let's see if Jeremiah's surgery was successful. Do this. How'd it go? Why do they? Uh, they have they have pads over both eyes, and I don't know why. If they didn't do surgery on both eyes, wh why are they covering both eyes? It's probably just for the reveal for the show. Yeah. Take your time. No pressure. Everything looks so more clear. So I think for his case, um, if it, if it did work for his eye, it's likely that um, his. If he was indeed born with cataracts, then it's likely his good eye is kind of compensating and helping him see, to, um, kind of doing most of the work. And his right eye maybe can perceive light and colors a little bit better. But again, just uh, because the neurological development wouldn't be there, it's unlikely for his, his weaker eye that had the procedure to really see anything quite matching of what how powerful his good eye would be. Now I don't even see any blur. <laughs> this is where the difference is. Uh, Satchel was born without the cataract, had developed vision through the critical neuroplastic period of the brain, which is usually around the, around the age of seven, eight, nine years old. Uh, some research implies that it can go a little bit longer, but because his brain developed the ability to appreciate good, clear eyesight before the surgery, that's why removing the cataract, uh, all of his brain is still that is still capable. He just has the cataract blocking his vision. So they remove that. Now he sees great again. Satchel, take off your blindfold. Whoa. Literally, I cannot. I don't <laughs> right now. Guys who couldn't see a couple weeks ago drive us. Yeah. Wait, there's one cone you should hit. Yeah. You can't help not just being uh, excited or feeling good watching Mr. Beast videos, watching people react like this, getting such an amazing gift, especially for somebody who's had just a troubled issues. And again, he, of course, he hurt his eye in a, in a go-karting accident. Yeah, now his first car he's ever driving is a Tesla. As a thank you, because you were just so gracious in this video, we want to make a hundred thousand dollar donation. It'll bring sight to thousands of people. I see everything. See, this is really uh, amazing, heartwarming. Let me just say, personally, thank you, Mr. Beast, if, for donating that money, for helping support the cause around the world, because a lot of people can significantly benefit from having cataract surgery. It'll change their life, allow them to work and contribute to their, their household, their community, uh, and just open, you know, literally open their eyes to just appreciate see loved ones experience life again. Uh, and I think that goes to why so many eye doctors even join the field of eye care. Uh, and it's why I do mission trips whenever I can, um, going to third world countries, being able to offer my services. But truly, this is an amazing video and this is just really special and really cool. I, I, I hope a lot of people see this. Again, just one thing to kind of note for people who are watching this and being like, whoa, this is what cataract surgery is like. The surgery is very quick, but the healing time takes a lot longer. It's not like just the next day you're seeing better 
better. Oftentimes vision's still fuzzy for at least another week as the eye heals, and it takes at least about three to four weeks for the eye to be kind of more fully healed and seeing better to the point where you're able to get things like glasses and things again. So it does take a little bit more time and you're using medications and eye drops, things like that. So it's just not kind of like a miracle quick cure or anything the way the way they kind of present it. The other quick thing to note is that usually you aren't doing cataract surgeries on both eyes at the same time. They usually do one eye, uh, and then after a few weeks of that healing, then they'll do the other eye. That makes so uh, that people aren't just uh, walking around with blurry vision in both eyes. They have one eye that maybe is functioning a little bit better than the other. Plus, on the off chance, uh, anything wrong happens during the surgery, which thankfully is extremely rare, but if something horrible happens like an infection, uh, then it's only affecting maybe one eye and not both eyes. Now, as I said earlier, for those of you who've stuck around, I'm gonna quick just mention a few things that are scientifically evident to slow down the rate of cataract development. Once again, for most people, as we get older, we will develop some level of age-related cataracts, but there are studies that have shown there's ways to slow it down. The first way is just eating healthier, lots of fruits and vegetables. A specific study in 2019 did find that by eating more fruits and vegetables, especially antioxidants such as vitamin C, vitamin E, and then lutein, zeaxanthin, these are in a lot of vegetables, uh, this will slow down the rate of cataract development and help prevent those age-related cataracts. Secondly, if you are a smoker or drink alcohol, uh, these both have been associated with higher rates of cataract development, so if you can, uh, cut back and maybe even quit using those altogether. That'll slow things down. And then finally, just overall staying healthy, especially exercising and trying to prevent developing diabetes. People who are diabetic develop cataracts sooner, and they can even develop a special type of cataract called a diabetic cataract. And then one other thing that people can do is wear sunglasses, wide brim hats, whatever they can do, protect your eyes from harsh sunlight, because UV light can penetrate the eyeball a little bit, and then the lens inside the eye uh, basically absorbs that UV light and then again, increases the rate of certain types of cataract development. Hey, thanks for watching my reaction to Mr. Beast kind of cure a thousand people from blindness. This is really kind of a special video and I love that he's bringing attention to this. If you have additional questions about cataracts, cataract surgery, or any eye disease, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if you have not subscribed to the channel, haven't seen the rest of our content, I like to do content around eyes, vision, different diseases, uh, different tips and tricks, things that you can do to help yourself see your best today as well as tomorrow, whether that be with something simple as glasses, contact lenses, or with surgeries. If that interests you, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, again, Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. Keep an eye on it, and we'll see you in the next one.